Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, we're going to take a look at using Transform Translate versus negative margins in Divi. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. The Transform Translate and negative margin may seem to deliver similar results, but it's important to know the difference and how to use them. So in this example, I'm going to be using this blurb and this button to demonstrate these two differences between the negative margins and the transform translate. Now, the negative margin is one of the uh, most used ways of uh, positioning your items. So, for example, here on this button, if I need to move this closer to my text, I can just drag this and you can see here I've just moved my button. Now, we can do something similar as well with transform translate. But as I mentioned earlier on, these work differently. So this works on the top, bottom, left and right as well. So all you have to do is to place your pointer over here and then you can just drag your button like that. And this is how you position it using negative margins. Of course, you can always go in and do this manually. So for example, if I come here into my gear icon, click on design, and then we need to go into spacing. So this is where you'd add your negative margins manually so for example if i do this i'm adding my uh, negative margins to the top and then if i drag this to the left as you can see here it's overlapping so this is how you would do it manually now let me show you how we we'll do this uh, using transform translate so if i come over here to transform this is the one that we're going to use transform translate so as i move this around you can see i can really position this wherever i want and it seems like this is doing exactly what um, the negative margin is doing because i can position this wherever i want so i'm just going to reset this so how the transform translate works is it's entirely a different approach and it's more visual as well because as i've just demonstrated you're just dragging uh, that pointer and you can just visually see where you're going to place your items. One of the big differences between Transform Translate and Negative Margin is that it's being left behind. With Transform Translate, it leaves quite a lot of space behind it, whereas with Negative Margins, it doesn't really do that. So if you're changing the position of an element using the Transform Translate option, the initial space is taken up by the module will remain. With Negative Margin, the, the opposite is true. So if you want to avoid the space that is left behind after positioning items, you would have to add some margins to, to that item as well. Now, let me give you an example of what this looks like. So I'm just going to save this for now. And then I'm just going to duplicate this a few times. Okay, so let's say I need to overlap this. So I would come back over here and go into my transform and then transform translate. Right, so now I can position this wherever I want. So I'm just going to drag this Say, let's say up to about minus 135. Then on the bottom here, I think this just needs to be zero so that it's just right in the center. Now, as you can see, in fact, you know what? Why don't we add a background so we can see exactly what is happening? So I'm just going to add a background to this. So as you can see, my overlap is above this. So sometimes you may want your overlap be, to be under. So how you would do that is you'd come over here to advanced visibility. And then you want to set your Z index. So depending on where, on how you want it to be, you can just play around with your Z index and this will position your item however you want. So now I've added my, my blurb under the top one, as you can see. And if I say zero here, it's now on the top. So this is what you need to be aware of if you're going to be overlapping items in your design. Now, as you can see right now, as I drag this up there we have this space here that is left this is the um space that i've that i was talking about so you would need to make sure that you get rid of this by coming back over here to your content in fact you need to come over here to design spacing and then you want to add some negative margin to bring to cover that space that you've just created by moving your transform translate. And this is what I was mentioning earlier on, that if you use negative margins, you won't have to worry about the space being left behind. And let me demonstrate that one more time. So over here, in fact, let me just duplicate this. So make sure you're using that chain icon because that will help you reset everything. Okay, so now everything is back to normal. Okay, so now over here on the middle column, if I use my negative margin, you see that the button is also coming up 
as I'm moving my item upwards. So this is the main difference between these two. So you need to adjust the space that is left behind when you do your transform translate. Whereas over here, you know, everything is kept intact. So of course you want to choose which one works for you. And by the way, don't forget to use your Z index if you want to position these items, you know, a specific way. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next